In order to get your bird used to taking a bath, if they are fearful of baths, you're going to need a clicker or a whistle, some millet or other treats that your bird enjoys, and your spray bottle. So the very first step is to get them used to the sight of the spray bottle. So what we're gonna do is start off with this behind our backs, and already Zippy's aware that I have something. Now she's not scared of the spray bottle, so she's not freaking out, um, but for another bird, this step alone might be scary. So start off just, it's behind my back, good job. It's behind my back, good job. And then once your bird is relaxed with the spray bottle behind your back, it's time to move on to the next step. So the next step is to slowly take the bottle out. So you're gonna take the bottle out, reward with millet. The bottle goes away before the treat disappears, okay? So bottle comes out, millet. Bottle goes away, millet goes away. Bottle comes out, millet. And this teaches your bird that whenever they see the bottle, it's a good thing because a treat is coming next. Now, if your bird is still scared at this point, you wanna go back to maybe showing just a small part of the bottle from behind your back. Bottle goes away, millet goes away. You don't want the bird to be uncomfortable or upset with any part of this process. So if having the bottle out here is too much for them, you need to take it a little bit slower. Now, once your bird is totally used to you showing them the spray bottle. We're gonna start getting them used to the sound of the spray bottle. Now, they don't actually have to see the bottle to start getting used to the sound. Um, really, all we're trying to do is get them used to all the different noises that the bottle can make. So the sound of the trigger pulling, um, the sound of the water itself spraying, um, and all other sounds associated with it. So you can start off, oh, she's chasing the millet. Come here. Come here, silly girl. You can start off spraying the opposite direction. And remember, this goes away before the millet goes away. Spray, millet, bottle goes away, millet goes away. Spray, millet, bottle goes away, millet goes away. Now you notice I'm not using my clicker just yet um, because I'm not shaping for behavior yet. Um, what I'm doing right now is just pairing the spray and the bottle itself with the presence of something good and rewarding. It doesn't matter what Zippy's doing right now. I'm not asking her to do anything specific. I'm just teaching her right now that when the bottle is around and it's spraying, good things happen. Her behavior does not matter at all at this point, which is why I'm not using the clicker just yet. So once she's used to the bottle spraying over here, I can start slowly bringing the bottle closer to her. Now Zippy's kind of fearless, um, but a more skittish bird, these steps are gonna take quite a while, okay? And that's totally fine. Slow and steady is the name of the game here. So notice I can start bringing this closer to her. And now I'm gonna put Zippy on this side of the carrier so that I can mist this side of the carrier without her getting wet. So I'm gonna spray it near her. <laughs> She's a little too fearless. I'm gonna spray it near her and I'm gonna give her a treat every time that she comes near or under the spray. So essentially, um, continuing on from where we were last time, we're gonna be misting this side of the carrier and allowing the bird to decide on their own whether they want to walk under the mist or not. Now this is gonna be kind of an awkward angle because of the camera. Um, but you don't want to be spraying over this direction because then you're gonna get the bird wet whether they want to or not. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate spraying over here and just know that the mist is only falling on this half of the carrier. It's not coming over here where Taki is. 
So I'm going to click and reward every time that Taki comes into contact with the NIST. Now, this part is where you are shaping the bird's behavior. So you're going to be using your clicker because whether they get a reward depends on what they do. So I'm going to try spritzing this side and see if I can shape Taki to go over there. So right now he's looking towards the mist. And that's going to teach him to turn around. So every time that he looks closer to the direction of the spray bottle, I'm going to give him a treat. So notice with me rewarding him turning towards the spray bottle, he's turning more and more in that direction. And now he thinks we're doing circles because he knows how to do that. And that's okay for now. I mostly just want him relaxed and moving towards the spray bottle while ignoring the fact that the mist is going on. I want him nice and relaxed. And he actually is getting a tiny, tiny bit of mist this way. Now another thing you can do if your bird isn't terribly scared of the spray bottle but just doesn't understand is you can put millet over there and just mist and as long as they're not freaking out, um, as long as they're nice and calm and continuing to eat and relax, that's a perfectly acceptable way to get your bird to bathe as well. But for now, we're really trying to get a bathing response out of Taki. So there's a click and reward for going under the mist. Click and reward for going under the mist. Click and reward for going under the mist. Click and reward. And eventually, What's going to happen is your bird is going to realize that baths are fun and rewarding and not scary. And they may actually one day start to elicit a bathing response when you get the spray bottle out. So notice I'm clicking while the mist is still falling because you want to click the action. And Taki's going to start associating, allowing that mist to fall on him with nice rewards. Notice the nice relaxed body language. He's not panicking. And he's still turning circles trying to get more treats. So he's nice and relaxed and not focused on the mist which is what we want, right? We don't want a bird that's upset with the process. Now, if your bird is upset with any part of this process, you can always take it a couple steps back. So let's say that Taki was looking uncomfortable and unhappy at this stage. You can just move the spray bottle away just a little bit. And if he's still looking uncomfortable, you move the spray bottle back even further. And if you really need to, you can go all the way back to having the spray bottle behind your back. Now Taki, bottle, millet, bottle goes away, millet goes away. Taki's not scared of the sight of the spray bottle, um, so I don't have to go all the way back there. But if your bird is scared of the sight of the spray bottle, then you're going to want to take it even slower. So let's try to get Taki walking under this mist here. So I just clicked and rewarded because Taki's walking towards the mist, right? This is the part where you're shaping behavior, so this is where you're going to use your clicker. Notice he was walking towards the mist, so that's a click and reward. 
walking towards the mist. And it's very difficult to train and film at the same time, especially when you're talking. So of course I'm gonna miss a couple of these, not, not have great timing all the time. <laughs> but you get the general idea. Now, once your bird is allowing you to spray them with water and it's not phasing them, you can start extending the amount of time that you spray them before they can earn a treat. So before it was one spray, one treat, right? Now, we're gonna try two sprays and a treat. And eventually you can work up to three sprays and a treat. And you just keep going up and up and up um, until your bird is no longer expecting treats when they bathe. Eventually you can work up to quite a long time and once they're showing a bathing response when you're spraying them, that in and of itself is going to be the reward. They're going to be having such a good time taking a bath that they're not necessarily going to need a treat in order to um, tolerate the water being sprayed on them. He's not trying to escape the spray. He's fully flighted, by the way. So if he was uncomfortable, he could fly off at any moment um, to get away from the situation. And he's choosing to stay here and to stand under the spray because he knows that it is safe, fun, and rewarding. And that's really all we want for our birds, right? We wanna take care of them in a way that has them nice and comfortable, that they're willing to participate because they know that good things are going to happen. So hopefully that was a bit informative um, and you learned something about how you can get your bird to take a bath if they're scared of spray bottles. Uh, if you like this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. We really appreciate it uh, and hope you guys have a wonderful day.